Hey everyone, how are you doing? It's Ben here with Millennium Drums today to show you some rock drum fills. These drum fills are a little bit harder than the last drum fill video I did. If you haven't seen that before, go and check that out. The notation for this lesson will be available below and on the Millennium Drums website. Now these fills are gonna be able to help you become an absolute rock hero. We are gonna use our snare drum, our toms, our bass drum, hi-hats, and our crash cymbal. So the first step, we are gonna use four semi-quavers to drop some heat on this drum fill. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. We are gonna play four singles on our snare drum, one E and a, before moving over to our two rack toms, to play 2E under and 3E under. Finally, we will play the final four notes in this bar, 4E under on our first floor tom. I'll show you that now with a metronome, which is set at 80 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. One E under, two E under, three E under, four E under. One, two, three, four. One E under, two E under, three E under, four E under. One, two, three, Four, one E under, two E under, three E under, four E under. Okay, now we've got that. I'm gonna stick it with a drum beat so you can hear it in some context. Again, the metronome is set to 80 beats per minute and it sounds a bit like this. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one E under, two E under, three E under, four E under, one and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and two and three and four and. When you feel that you've got really confident with that drum fill, you can start to get creative and place your sticks in different parts of the drum kit at different times. I've got a couple of variations now that I'm going to show you. My metronome is still at 80 beats per minute. And don't forget, let me know below what variations you come up with yourself. One and two and three and four and one. And three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a one and two and three and four. And Sweet. One. So now we've got that under our belt. We are going to take a look at another fill that is going to make you sound like a rock drum hero. Now this is a super simple fill that is going to use our hi hats. Now this is a public service announcement. Hi hats in drum fills are amazing. They are awesome. Do not underestimate the power of the hi hats. Here we go. One and two and three and four and 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 So first of all, like I say, this fill sounds amazing at a much faster speed, but we need to know first how we're gonna play it. We are gonna play two single strokes on our snare drum. We're then gonna play two single strokes on our hi-hats before two more single strokes on our snare drum and two more single strokes on our rack tom to make us sound like an ultimate rock god. I'm gonna play this now at 80 beats per minute so you can hear how it sounds. However, afterwards, I'm gonna play it at 120 beats per minute so I can sound like a bit of a badass. Here we go. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two Two and three and four and one and 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 two and three and four and finally to finish this film for that extra bit of flavor we are going to add a crash on beat one of the bar that comes after that fill that way when you've dropped your little bit of finesse and you've shown everyone that you are a true legend you can hit that crash Get straight back into your groove and everyone is left stunned. Here we go. One and two and three and four and 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 one and two and 
Coming in hot. This fill consists of using our floor tom, our snare drum, and our bass drum. Now, our foot has got to do quite a bit of work here. We are going to be playing quavers on our bass drum, which is one and two and three and four and. We're going to be playing crotchets or quarter notes with our right hand on the floor tom and our snare drum. We're going to sleep that in on beat number three for a nice backbeat sound. I'm going to show you that all together now at a nice slower speed of 80 beats per minute. But again, as always, when you feel comfortable, crack that metronome up and crack on to see how it sounds. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and. That was a tricky one. Okay, so I'm gonna take my right hand now and start to move it around the kit to come up with some different sticking patterns and combinations you can try at home. Feel free to learn these, but also if you fancy being creative, let me know in the comments below how you get on and what you come up with. I'd love to learn something from you as well. One and two and three and four and 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 That's it for me today guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and become the ultimate rock gods with your rock drum fills. Be sure to comment below and let me know if you come up with any fills of your own, I'd love to learn something from you as well. Like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to not miss any more cool Millennium Drum content in the future. I've been Ben with Millennium Drums, see you later. And three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and 